All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I got something pretty cool right over here on the table. I got an Elijah with Knives uh, uh, Spada, and this is a custom knife uh, we're going to check out in a second. But before I'm going to open this pouch, guys, just smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't uh, subscribed already. And you can also check out fablades.com. See what is going on on that website. Look at this guy. Comes in a nylon uh, velcroed pouch uh, which is padded but we do not care about that we care about this fella right over here this is a custom knife with a lot of features going on first of all let's go ahead and check the size of this fella we got like 10 centimeters for the uh, cutting edge and 12 and a half for the handle contributing to an overall length of 22 centimeters which is uh, I would say like a full size knife uh, for example look at this uh, we've got um, uh, custom uh, Stellar from Shirogorov. This is a mini Quantum, so you can get uh, a sense of uh, uh, the size for this fella. But uh, let me show you just a couple more um, uh, popular one, like a large Savenza 21 and a small 21, to give you a better sense of the size of this guy right over here. So. Um, this is uh, a pretty cool one. Um, you have black linen micarta scales, and uh, it's, it's very interesting. Um, you have, uh, uh, look at this texture. I don't know if you can appreciate all the moon craters going on on these scales. You get uh, orange peeled, textured, titanium liners, a set of four standoffs, uh, uh, jimping on the back, jimping on the spacer. You have custom hardware. Look at this job done on the pivot and on the uh, screws for the scale. That's, uh, that's a pretty interesting um, work done on these screws. A pretty very pretty. Uh, of course, you get, look at this, uh, 14 karat gold uh, uh, maker's mark accent that shines on this two-tone uh, satin flats and acid-washed primary bevel blade. Would you look at that contrast going on? I love that. It's, it's fantastic. Like, it's just acid-washed satin and an accent of 14 karat gold. That's pretty cool. Um, it's, a, it's a very cool grind, guys. This is a flipper knife. It's a liner lock. It has a tip-up carry only, titanium blasted uh, pocket clip. Um, pretty centered, uh, uh, simple construction. I would say it's a liner, but a lot of standoffs going on. So there's going to be like four screws going on on that uh, thing. You have a little bit of weight reduction on the uh, lock bar, which is interesting. Usually it's, I mean, I don't know why they, they would lower the weight in that spot, but I mean, it works. Uh, it locks up, so that's fine. You get an extra screw hidden right under the pocket clip, coupled screws holding the uh, clip together. There's no backspace, there's no lanyard hole option. And uh, uh, we can see that uh, you get a little bit of jimping also going on on the flipper tab right over here, which is a little bit pointed, sticking out. So like that, the deployment method is going to be preferred, like a light switch uh, uh, deployment method. But I would say like push button is going to still work, but uh, I would not uh, rely on that. It's just much nicer to do with a, a light switch uh, operated button. So. Uh, 3D scale, so these, as you can see, they're not flat, they are contoured, so in the hand, this thing is going to feel pretty good, it feels the hand, I have large hands, so it really, uh, ergonomically speaking, is just like a fantastic. You have a nice finger groove right over here, nicely chamfered. Uh, you do not have, in. I mean, you have a little bit of internal chamfering. Yes, that's actually right there. So it's not going to be, you're not going to find any sharp edges in the hand. This thing is good. There's no hot spots. So it really sits well in the hand. If you want to do a reverse grip, also it's going to work. Uh, probably less nicer than the regular grip. Very solid construction. You got four standoffs running along the back and they contribute to get uh, 
a very rigid structure with zero play, no movement. And uh, we can check also the fit and finish of this guy. And I do not see any gaps, misalignment, uh, bevel lips. I mean, it's really well made. It's a, it's a pretty, pretty cool knife. And uh, it's not gonna either break the bank because these guys are around $600, 650 US. And uh, it's, it's pretty cool to be able to get like a custom knife uh, that it's below a hundred uh, thousand bucks so really really cool let me also check uh, how much this guy is gonna be weighted in your pocket it's not gonna be super light but i mean at 6.15 ounces uh, for what it is i mean the stock thickness we can check and see that this guy has like 3.8 millimeters for the stock it's a long blade and 0.5 uh, behind the edge so it's gonna be very nice. You get an hollow grind, of satin flats, a uh, uh, black, blackened out swedge, which is super cool with this contrast. I truly love it. It's so good. Plunge grind is nice. You get a sharpening choil right over here. A little bit of a recurve just at the end, which is interesting, but otherwise the edge is just straight you get a 30 percent belly going on right over here up to this point there is no uh billboarding also going on on the blade you just got the uh, maker's mark in 14 karat gold which is a nice uh, accent there's a little uh interesting detail on the jimping <coughs> which is uh, lacking one groove just to leave this uh, uh accent even more intact without uh, being too distracting. So I appreciate that. Um, I also like this little detail over here. Look at this. Uh, so on the edge, look at that. So this just follows the contour on the liners. This is a very cool job. Just a little detail that I thought to share with you guys. Another thing that uh, it's pretty good is the deployment like that. The um, drop shot action is non-existent. There's no drop shot on this one. You're going to have to, uh, just do a little nub like that and it's gonna be closing in a centered way and in a safe way. I can barely touch the, the tip, but I cannot, ah, maybe, okay, no, it, it's safe. So that's a, that's a good thing. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Maybe the pocket clip is a little bit too wide uh, for this design, but the length is fine. I would have preferred uh, like this screw to be completely hidden, so just a, a tad lower to leave the lock side a little bit cleaner. The custom hardware on the lock side is also nice uh, as well. Um, the sound that this guy makes, it's a clack clack. It's kind of loud. It's not, it's not like quiet when he closes. It's good. It, it transmits a solid uh, feel and with, with this sounding thump, it, it, it means solid. This, this is a knife that it's, you know, it's screaming, I'm ready for business and uh, it is solid. It feels great in the hand. It, I like it. It might not be like everyone's cup of tea, but for sure it's well made as a nice line and I really don't see anything wrong uh, with this guy. I mean, some things could be perfected. Yes, of course, like pretty much in every other knife, but uh, I'm telling you guys, this is a pretty cool one. So there you have it. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.